Welcome back to another episode of Evolving Through Experience. Y'all already know the drill. We discuss everything mentally, spiritually, emotionally, physically, and beyond growth in every aspect. Today we got a special guest, my guy Josh. We definitely gonna be talking about a lot. Man, we're gonna be talking about behind the scenes, what they don't see, the, the drive behind the scenes. So tell them a little bit about yourself, bro. Uh, my name is Joshua. I'm 21 from Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm the youngest of three. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, on my mama's side, youngest okay. of three. How many siblings you got total? Six. Six? Okay. Six. Yeah, I'm right there with, with yeah, you, bro. Se- about seven. Pops. Six. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, you already know how it be. Yeah. Yeah. So now nah, we're gonna jump right into it, bro. Um, I know we obviously you are in trucking. That's that's what you one of the things you know for. I don't wanna put you in a box of what you only do. Um, but before we talk about that, I wanna like we said, we're gonna talk about behind the drive, behind the trucking scenes, like the things that make you who you really are, cool. the real intangibles. Okay. So um let's start with um obviously your your family. Let's start with um your family. Um I lost my dad in twenty seventeen. Mm-hmm. I was in ninth grade. Yeah. Um then around 2020, mm-hmm. my mom got shot. Correct. Uh, four times. Then 2021, my brother committed suicide. Correct. And like, and that's what exactly what I wanted to talk to you about because obviously I know so many people obviously deal with these type of situations, mm-hmm. um, and it's not talked about enough nah, as yeah. far as like overcoming it. So let's before we go to each one, let's start with each one. So you say your pops, right? So let's talk about that a little bit. How did he? So how did how did that happen? He was already sick with diabetes. Okay, so uh, help. But he was still like back in the day. He used to do mm-hmm. drugs too. Okay, like, so I I have seen my dad mm-hmm. do crack. Cr- I didn't. Okay. Too, I was too young to know. So my brother used mm-hmm. to tell me like that's something you never want to do. Nah, for like, sure. So when like when, when he did have a house by himself, mm-hmm. and my brother did used to go over there spend the night. Mm-hmm. And that's when we first knew like what it was. Makes sense. And then after a while, it's like he just kept doing it, doing it, doing it. And he did stop because then that's when he got real, real, real sick. Sick, yeah. But I didn't know, like, it was going to happen that fast. Correct, You feel yeah. me? So I was at football practice in ninth grade. I was at Miller Grove High School. I was at football practice. Mm-hmm. My mom came and picked me up from football it's, practice. She was yeah. like, your dad died. I said, what? Yeah, just out the blue. Yeah, and she was like, yeah, your dad died. So, like, from that day forward, it was like, I knew I had to grow up. Like, mm-hmm. I knew it was time for me to, like, Take responsibility of certain things. Then two after my dad's funeral, cause I I didn't cry. Yeah. After my, I didn't cry at his funeral period. So after, so after the after the funeral, mm-hmm. my brother was like, me and me and my brother had a long talk. Yeah. So, like a heart to heart. Like a heart to heart. So mm-hmm. it was like, uh, you no know, dad gone. So yeah. I'm here to help you out now. Correct. Show, show you how to be a man. Show you how to move around mm-hmm. outside of who you are. Cause Correct. like I'm not that dude that's in the streets. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So. He was though, so I'm, yeah. I'm gonna teach you not not to get played, how to Correct. how to move, how to talk, how to stand up for yourself, how mm-hmm. to, how to be a man. That's what he did. So yeah. that's where all my stuff really came from. Came from. So let's talk about that. Like this, this mentally, I know, we obviously already really know what how that really made you feel. But if you don't mind like sharing it, because like I said, it's people out there yes, that that need, that, to know. That, that need to know, and also that like I said, that deal with it, and they need to know it's okay to say, yo, this is how I feel. It's okay to feel this way. So with my dad, it was like. I was I, okay. I was depressed though. Mm-hmm. Like, I, but I was too young to know what depression was. You Correct. Feel me? Yeah. So I just thought I'm just being sad. Like mm-hmm. it was cool. So I was sad for a minute, but I always knew he was with me because I had a chain with his ashes in it. Mm-hmm. So I, I, I always yeah. knew like my dad with me everywhere I go. Mm-hmm. I'm always gonna be protected by him and God. So I was yeah. I was cool. And two, I had yeah, like every football game I wore it. Yeah. Like some some people tugged at my chain during the mm-hmm. game. Every time I got tackled, somebody tugged at the chain, mm-hmm. so it never broke. Yeah. So I, mm-hmm. I already knew like that's a lot. The bond, lot. How, like yeah. I already knew how how it was. So, but how I really overcame it really was football. 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 It, it, it gave me a drive because I, mm-hmm. I was always in football, 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 football. Anybody know me? They know football, football, football. Yeah. I lived, eat, sleep, shit, football. That's yeah. how it was. That was your therapy. That was everything. Mm-hmm. So. Cause at a young age I didn't go out I didn't go yeah. to parties I I still don't now at this age was it was it because of that like or you just never had that I just first never, attempt I yeah never, like I, my never attempt was to go party like, mm-hmm. I never had like I gotta really really know you to go yeah. to come to your party makes sense so it just I, I knew life was real when when he died yeah so my therapy was football at the Correct. time weightlifting yeah but I also had a coach in high school mm-hmm. name was Coach Hannah okay he was my coach my junior and senior year. Mm-hmm. That's probably the best coach I ever had. Word. Period. Because when I was feeling a certain way, or if I did have a problem in life or mm-hmm. school wise, basically, I know I, he'll come 
I go to him, he'll tell you what it is, what it ain't. What it ain't, yeah. You might not want to hear it, but you, you need to hear. hear. Yeah. So he had, so I call him or I text him like, hey, yo, coach, mm-hmm. I'm feeling it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, he, he'll give it to you raw. He don't care. No, nah, as it should be, Because yeah. he, he's telling you the truth. Correct. And after you leave, you'll be like, damn, that is true, though. It may, it may so that was like, it. Yeah, and I still talk to him to this day. I check up on him every time. Like, yeah, that's facts. one of the co- best coach I ever had, ever. So he, he, when I met him, it was a bond. Mm-hmm. So I knew I was comfortable with him. I knew I could open right. up and talk to him. It so, was genuine. So when I was dealing with that, mm-hmm. that's who really, like, helped me actually get through what I had to Actually, like, cause I really never talked to somebody about my dad. Mm-hmm. I mean, I had a girlfriend at at, uh, at the time, but mm-hmm. I'm not I'm not an open up person. Yeah, at that young age, until I met my coach, mm-hmm. I'm like, cool, that's another father figure I can actually look at, look up to. Yeah, but I did have a father figure too. My granddad mm-hmm. was a father figure. Makes sense. Like, on the man side, cut mm-hmm. grass, mm-hmm. uh, put stuff together, fix Correct. things. Yeah. So I had that too. Then my mom had a boyfriend, mm-hmm. and he was in my life since I was a baby. Yeah. And he taught me stuff too. Like, that's my boy too. Yeah. Like, I can hit him up right now. Hey, I got a problem with this. Can mm-hmm. you help me? He's gonna sit down, we're gonna talk. Or can or he'll hit me up. Hey, can you woo woo? Like he just got an eighteen wheeler. Yeah. I'm helping him put his eighteen wheeler together. Yeah. So makes like, sense. I, I had father figures inside Correct. my life, but it's nothing like your dad. Correct. Me? So of course. That's how I really had to go by it. Nah, shout out to all of them, bro. And I'm glad <laughs> Because it's a lot you just said there we can unpack, but I also want to ask this. As far as, obviously, outside of football, let's just say, obviously, you have football. Was there any other things that you feel like was truly helpful that pretty much gave you, like, a peace of mind or therapy? And the reason I ask that is because I'm sure somebody out there that may not be in sports. Yeah. So it's like, what is it like? Obviously, everybody's different. Healing is a process for everybody, let's be clear. But what would something you could recommend for somebody that may have lost a dad or any parent to something like Music. that? Music. music. I listened mm-hmm. to a lot of R and B. Okay, R and B. A lot yeah. of R and B. So music really was a was a helpful way helpful to way. me. Mm-hmm. So like even at a, even that young, mm-hmm. he, everybody used to say, "Your brother got an old soul." Yeah, like, right. I'm a young nigga, but I got a real old soul. Mm-hmm. So I listened to R and B twenty four seven. Like it's I cut on rap, but it'll be on for like ten fifteen. Minutes. Not too long. Not yeah. too long. Nah, no, because it's like so. That's how I really got through that mm-hmm. with my pops and it. And the message don't even have to be about death. Yeah. The message can be about love, a yep. heartbreak, anything. Yep. I like their voice. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna listen to it, keep me calm and keep me keep you solid cool. Too, yeah. So the music was really like it. Like if anybody know me, they they know Josh gonna cut on R and B. Yeah. Or Josh gonna cut on some gospel music. Regardless. Yeah. I, I don't really listen to rap like that. No, nah, I like it's that, bro. Rare. The mm-hmm. most music I, the most rap I probably put on is like my my brother. Mm-hmm. I rarely I rarely I play his music. I don't like mm-hmm. listen to his voice. Yeah, so I barely play him. It's a, it's a, makes sense. every blue moon. I'm a, uh, like, I, 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 I'm gonna play his music on. So, nah, I'm glad there. you said that too because I think we need to embrace that more because I think obviously most rap music is not that positive. Yeah, especially yeah. nowadays, really, it's not so much a lot of positivity going on in it. So obviously, I understand why you rather listen to R and B or like you said, gospel, something that's more mellow and, and positive because yeah. we, we don't need to be hearing about death or somebody getting killed like that we, we see that enough so i definitely commend you on that yeah, for real bro i was listening yeah. to that shit on the way here nah in fact <laughs> nah i was flipping already, back and forth yeah nah I'm, I'm glad you said that because bro people need to see that that side of the other side of it they Facts. see that look this is your process and this is what you're doing most people might think or assume that like, you may listen to rap music or whatever, but in day you saying that, I think that's really helpful so people could see like that's something we can all embrace. Like you don't gotta listen to rap music. Cut and that out for a minute. It's like it's at a certain time. I got, mm-hmm. I used to have a time period. Mm-hmm. At six o'clock, it's no more rap playing yeah. in my car. It's great R and B. But now it's like I wake up R and B or I wake up. Like today I woke up, the half of my morning was gospel. Yeah. From from my house mm-hmm. to here was R and B. Half half a little bit of rap. Cut mm-hmm. it off R and B. Yeah. So I really was like back and forth, but I know for a fact for the rest of his dad knows gonna be R and B. R and B. It just keep me calm. Like yeah. and that's how I, that's how I'm able to go to sleep. Nah, I it's agree. R&B. I, I like that because I, I actually go to sleep to like you ever also try like listening to this mellow sounds like natural like oceans, sounds. Yeah, ocean like sounds. Yeah, yeah, bro, facts. I love that, bro. I go to facts. sleep like anytime. That's like that's the quickest way I can go to sleep. If I put that on, oh, just natural sleep. noise, yeah. yeah. And it, it helps me sleep better, wake up better, and like in a good mood. Like if you ever like obviously I don't know if you experience it, but you know, going to sleep with certain vibrations, like it, it'll mess up your sleep pattern and your sleep vibe. So I want to ask you this. 
before we transition to the next part, what does evolving through experience mean to you? Obviously, your whole life is evolving through experience, but I want to uh, know what that means to you. Evolving through experience. You're, so you're a prime example, bro. Facts. Uh, mm -hmm. I just don't let evolving through experience basically don't what don't let what happened to you in the past. Mm -hmm. Don't let what happened to you in the past dictate what you're gonna do in the future. Mm -hmm. Like Steve Harvey said, your life is 90 percent what happened to you, ten percent what you're gonna do about it. Correct. No, he said ten percent. I don't know what he it said. was. So, it was something right so there. I got that you. <laughs> nah, I got you. I think you it was ten percent sure. what happened to you, ninety percent mm -hmm. what you gonna do about it, or was it ninety percent? So it was one of them two. It's most of, it, the most of it is what you're gonna do about it. I believe. Yeah, you I feel me? So that. yeah, I looked at it as my. St I got a deep story. Mm -hmm. Dad died 2017. Mom got shot 2020. Yeah. Brother died 2021. Mm -hmm. If I would have let all those mm -hmm. jump down on me yeah. and stay in that depression stage, am I gonna feel sorry for him? No, I'm facts. grown. I'm 21. Just turned mm -hmm. 21. Yeah. What Congrats my story? Too, bro. Appreciate it. What my story was gonna be? Shit, all this happened to me. All mm -hmm. this happened now. Now I'm a bum. Yeah. Like, nah, bro. That was supposed to be your drive to go handle go handle your business. Correct. So I took that. Like when my brother died, I mm -hmm. took that in. Like I was depressed for a minute. Like, yeah. Facts. I was. Understandable. But at after that, mm -hmm. oh no, cause I know if he was here yeah. or my dad was here, get your bitch ass up, nigga. Why yeah. you crying? Why yeah. you? I know him, so like I ain't cried in a mm -hmm. minute since. Like, I ain't, I ain't cried in a minute. But you, I know he won't. He, it's not that I don't want to cry. Mm -hmm. I just it's not gonna come it's out. Not now, gonna come out. Okay. if I think about him, you you could. Yeah, okay, yeah. cool. But like, just I know mm -hmm. what type of person he is. I know what type of person what, yeah. what, what what he'll want me to do. Yeah. Go handle the business. Go take care of the fam. Go do you. Yeah. Like, and you, just my, go do you. Mm -hmm. Not to cut you off, I want to know because I know you said that like more than once. So do you you do feel like it's okay to cry though? Like man, what? Okay, I done cried. A, yeah, a Fanoki Swamp before. Like, I done cried. <laughs> I never heard that man, one. <laughs> Where you find man, that? <laughs> yeah, Okay Fanoki Swamp. I done cried that, that, that millions that, of times. Nah, that's yeah. a funny saying. I done cried. I done. Mm -hmm. I cried when my dad died at home. I cried mm -hmm. at the funeral. I don't cry in front of people. Yeah, I cried when my mom got shot. Mm -hmm. When my mom got shot and kept, I didn't sleep. I was going to sleep every day around seven in the morning. Mm -hmm. I wanted to stay up because I was scared. Even though I knew it wasn't gonna happen again, mm -hmm. I was scared that it was gonna happen again. Correct. So I didn't go. I was up waiting just in case. Just I don't know. It was yeah. just the PTSD and anxiety in me wouldn't let me go to sleep. Makes sense. So like I had to literally like go to sleep on the phone. Like mm -hmm. I like it was one of the bros. I was like, hey, stay on the phone with me until I go to sleep, bro. He was like, I got you. He he hung up. I was sleep. He, you know, I called him back. Timmy was like, like yeah. bro, why you hang up? He was like, you sleep. Nigga, I want sleep. <laughs> Even though I know I was, it <laughs> I mean, just yeah. I was scared. Like yeah. I ain't want like it's just that PTSD. Like that's why that's one of the reasons why I do listen to R and B. Yeah, because rap too much banging. Yeah, my, my anxiety, my PTSD, it had me nervous. Like yeah. I, I be nervous. I really be nervous all the time. Mm -hmm. But it's just once I get chill and yeah. all right, it's cool. But I'm nervous all the time. Yeah, Sometimes until I just come to R and B, it's like all right, cool. Like I listen. Like I said, I would cut on rap. But I, it won't be on for too long because I get nervous and yeah. my anxiety get the flow. And I just got to flip back to the uh, R&B music. So that's how I really like. That's just what I do. No, nah, I, and I think that's good, bro. Like I said, I'm going to say it again. I just commend you for it because I think those are healthy mechanisms that anybody can take yeah, on. Sure. That they can see, like, this is working for you. And that could work for somebody else at the end of the day. Um, I want to ask, so how did that happen? The whole thing happened with your mom of her getting shot, if you don't mind me asking. Uh, to be honest, I don't even know. Mm -hmm. I was in the crib. I was playing Madden. Mm -hmm. uh, she was like one, two in the morning. That's mm -hmm. why I don't go to sleep till past that time. Makes Still sense. to this day, I was I was playing the game and shit, I just hear shots going through the mm -hmm. house. So I duck on the ground. Mm -hmm. I run in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. I'm just ducking. You yeah. feel me? It stopped. I ran upstairs and she was just like she was burning. Yeah. She lifted up her shirt. It mm -hmm. just Blood holes everywhere. everywhere. She got shot four times. Yeah. So I'm watching the blood come out her body. Like I'm watching her. Yeah. She's falling on the ground. But it's so crazy. By the time, but like even when I got upstairs to like help her, the police was already coming up the stairs. Mm -hmm. Like it's like somebody already had called them. Correct. So it's like, and I'm glad I was there because if I wasn't there, she would have died. You feel yeah. me? So from that, like, from that day forward, I knew like I gotta protect the ones I love. Like I knew Thanks. like my mom could have just died mm -hmm. that that night. Like. And it, it was so crazy. That was April first. Everybody thought I was doing an April Fool's joke. Yeah, ain't anybody finna play about nah, that. Nah, that's not even so something to play about. Fact. It was making me mad because yeah. I was playing. Yeah, so like I showed them like she in the hospital. She, she messed up right yeah. now. Yeah, 
And then it's like, if you see my mom now, you don't even believe she got shot. Yeah, like, that's good. That's, that's good. God, yeah. you feel me? Like, Facts. you won't even believe she even been shot four times, but mm -hmm. she been shot. And I know her PTSD is bad, too. Correct. She actually got hit. And yeah. so, and what, what make it crazy, my light was on. So, you know, when somebody shoot up a house, they shoot up whatever light is on. Yeah. They shot They shot through my room because my room was downstairs. Makes sense. They shot through my room. Mm -hmm. Only reason why she got hit because it grazed the ceiling. Mm. Didn't hit her while she was asleep. She was, she was sleeping in the bed. So, wow. so, so she got shot in her sleep. So when I when I ran up there, I was just like, like I was just, I was confused. Yeah. Like, what the, like, what the yeah. hell going uh, on? Like, it just, it threw me off. So I knew from that day before, like, Take life serious now. No, nah, for, for sure. Because that could have been my mom. It could have been you too. Yeah, could have been me too. Traumatic situation. That could have been me. That that could have been me. Yeah. Like, and I still get flashbacks. Yeah, like, of course. You feel me? So it's like I don't really like. I don't know. I didn't get therapy though. I yeah. I did. I'm, I'm lying. I did. Mm -hmm. I left. Mm -hmm. Cause when you say you left, you left. I stopped doing it. Okay. Cause basically, you know when somebody just agreeing with you. you know? Yeah. You know you wrong. Mm -hmm. If I know I'm wrong, you tell me I'm right. Mm -hmm. You just want to agree. Cause you, at the end of the day, you just getting my money. You're yeah. Not really worried about what's really wrong with me. Mm -hmm. now, you got some therapists that really care about you. Yeah. You got some therapists that just want your money, and I feel like she just wanted my money. Mm -hmm. So I told my mom I can't take her no more. Did, so since then, have you tried to like find a new therapist or not interested mm -hmm. right now? Mm -hmm. Like because he, of that like, situation, yeah, like I'm just scared to get somebody else my money. That's just yeah. gonna agree with me. So. What? Well, nah, I, I'm glad you said that, bro. Because uh, unfortunately, it is some therapists that only do it for money. But it's also unfortunate that that was your first experience, yeah. and it's kind of deterring you. But I'm just gonna say, obviously, it's no pressure. I don't think nobody should be pressured to do anything. I just hope at least one day. With everything that you've been through, you're, get, get you you open up or you find somebody, even if and it's I not do. you searching, but it just winds up coming across you and you find out like this person's a therapist and they they willing to do it and not for the bread, but they really doing it to help you out or doing it for free at the end of the day because it's Facts. more important than the money out here. Facts. For sure, but I got like bros that I can go hit up like, hey, okay. feeling like this, bro. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? This how I feel. Mm. And this mm. what's going on there. They you know what I'm saying? All right, we're really going to kick it with you. Mm -hmm. Or... Shit, they send me a message. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, I had support for sure. I ain't, yeah, that's I ain't good, that type yeah. of side. I didn't have no support. I okay, had yeah. support. It's just me, type mm -hmm. of do what I am. I will push people away Yeah, to focus on myself. Correct. Let me get myself, let me get myself out of this depression because I don't want to throw it on y'all. I don't yeah, want my energy, problem yeah. to be your problem. Mm -hmm. you feel me? But also, I put myself on the back burner to, to care help about, their problem, yeah. To care about somebody else. Correct. Like, I one, feel of, you. like one of my partners lost his cousin to suicide. Mm -hmm. I was feeling some type of way still, mm -hmm. but I put myself on the back burner to make sure he was straight. Yeah. Talk to him, let, let, let him know how to grieve and, and mm -hmm. what I know you're going to do. And I, and I don't want you to go down the path that I went down. Yeah. yeah if you go down the path that I went down, I don't know. It may not be no turning back. It might be yeah. because, shit, I was on the the last stope. Like, mm -hmm. I was on the last leg, for real. Yeah. Until, like, like I said, like, I started praying. Mm -hmm. Like, started praying a lot. Really, really praying. I ain't yeah. gonna lie to you. Like, that's all it was, was praying, praying, praying. And that's how I really, you know what I'm saying, got, like, really out of that, for real, for real. Nah, bro, like I said, I, I can't say it enough. I commend you because, like I said, there's so many people that deal with it, and I'm glad you was able to, to pretty much nice. sit here and be able to talk about it and, and obviously be open and transparent about it. And I think that's also a great thing that you said because um, now I'm thinking about it. I don't feel like we therapy is necessarily always having to go to somebody to talk to or, I mean, it could be different things. Like you said, football was original, but having, like, genuine friends and bros, like, that's a form of therapy. So right. I'm glad you said that because that's, like, immediate therapy, not, oh, trying to get on somebody's schedule. It may be something you need to get off your chest, like, today. Yeah. You ain't trying to wait till three weeks or next week you to speak me? to them. Because, you want somebody to you know, yeah. A therapist is once a week. Yeah. I feel like this on Monday. I don't yeah. see you again till next Monday, yeah. bro. It's, like, it's not going to help you. I got bros. Like, I'm around two people. Mm -hmm. I'm around him and, and another dude. He yeah, here right now. AC and Lil TJ, they okay. know I'm Shout around them twenty four seven. I keep my circle small because I know of course. shit genuine. Yeah, and I know I can run to them if something happens. I know mm -hmm. I can talk to them if, if something going Facts. on. I ain't gotta go meet a new nigga that I just met. Hey, bro, this was going on. Nah, mm -hmm. I keep it. I keep it small. Everybody know. If they see me, they gonna see them. If they see yeah. them, they gonna see me. Correct. So, and it's vice versa. No, that's so how I, put, so I just keep it between them, and that's how. I, that's really that's that's the only people I be around. Like, no. Nah. 
Besides them, I don't really go nowhere. No, I don't blame you, bro. I, that's how it's supposed to be. And I, I'm glad you said at the beginning, you said you're 21. Obviously, you just turned 21. So I think people, I want to talk about your age for a minute because I know people always try to make you older than what man, you are. I hate that. I know, bro. I know you hate that. That's why I brought I it up. I hate that. <laughs> We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. But I, I think that's a that. good thing, too, because it's like, one, I say good thing, not from the sense of you've been through a lot, although, but at Maturity. the same time, that's made you mature. Yeah. So that part is right there where I was like, I think people put that on you and you can conduct yourself as an older person. Yeah. And I, I ain't going to say older as in, because what, what they be telling you, 25? 25. Yeah, crazy. Well, I begin DMs I was like, yo, my partner just, I said, bro, but this is the last time I'm going to tell yeah, this Yeah, I've seen it, yeah. I just turned 21 <laughs> in January. I'm yeah. born in 2002. Yeah. I just like, just I just carry myself as an older person. Like, mm -hmm. I carry myself, I just, I just carry myself the right way. Yeah. I don't, I'm not childish. I'm not mm -hmm. a little boy. I do play a lot. Yeah. But I play a lot. That's with, healthy, though. I play yeah. a lot with the dudes I'm comfortable with. Correct, yeah. Like, me and him play a lot 24-7. Yeah. But I know how to cut it off and Correct. act my age, too, mm -hmm. at the same time. So, it be times where... I'm going to play. Yeah. Like, now nah, I know we're going to go do this. Mm -hmm. Now, turn up. I'm 25, right? Yeah. Now. I'm 30. Yeah. Like, everybody say, Josh, <laughs> nigga, you was an old man. Like, yeah. I don't do nothing but sit at home and watch Martin and yeah. Bernie Mac all day and French <laughs> Prince and or, Bernie Mac. Or, yeah. or, or the Wayne brothers. That's all mm -hmm. I watch. So, yeah. I'm, they be like, Josh, you an old man, bro. Yeah. Like, you old, you old. And that's just how I am. Like, nah. I'm I just, I'm just an old, I got an old soul. So, it's like, nah, I see why they say it. Yeah. But it still make me mad because, bro, I'm not that old. Yeah, you don't bro. want to be putting that I'm age 21, on you. I'm 21, bro. I'm 21 years old, bro. So, damn. Even... You reversing. You going backwards. You getting younger, bro. Man, what? <laughs> nah. Facts. Nah, I feel you. Nobody even want to be putting age. I hate when people remind me of certain ages or man, numbers, too. It's like, that or projecting. Crazy. Yeah. What, man? Shit's nah. Crazy. It's funny you said Martin, though. Um, yeah, I, People used to tell me a lot that I look like Martin. I don't know if you, you do, see. though. I uh, see. Okay, you do see. a little bit. You do a little <laughs> Yo, bit. People see the younger that, version. Yeah, yeah. You do a little I, bit. I got an old picture that it's like, if you looked at it, you'll think that's yeah, Martin. Nah, you I'm do like, like Martin. Oh, nah. Shit. <laughs> I you know. Got, you, you got get, the ears. Yeah, man. Look, <laughs> people used to tell me that all the time. I'm like, look, well, I'm I might need to be a, a double, a stunt double or something. If like, you want to laugh, bro, you got to cut on Martin. Martin or the Wayne brothers. Yeah. If you want to laugh, that's what you got to cut on. And I cut it on. I keep my BET. Plus subscription <laughs> ready every. And they need to sponsor more. you now. Shout they need out to. BT Plus sponsor I'm this man. Keeping it. Tyler Perry just bought them too. He, I want to work with. Oh, hey, look. <laughs> it work. It won't work, with Tyler Perry. Okay, okay. You can go with Fifty Six. You gonna go with Fifty? <laughs> you can do. Why can't do both? I need bro? to go with Power. You can do both. What's the issue if you do both? You can't do both. Nah, not just I just talk shit. Oh, okay, I'm I'm about about I fuck with Tyler Perry. Oh, okay, okay. I, I, I like Shut all his music. Nah, yeah, okay. Say all, his, all his movies, I fuck with Tyler Perry. Nah, he, shout out to he, them. He know how to make a movie interesting. Mm -hmm. So yeah, for like sure. What what if you had to put one like obviously not your favorite because it's a lot of great movies, but what would be one of your top movies that you truly enjoy and and why is it? I like Taken one, two, and three. Okay. Mm. I I like action movies, mm -hmm. and I like when folks gotta go save today, like mm -hmm. how he saved his daughter mm -hmm. every time, then saved his wife mm -hmm. on the last one. I don't, th just, I, don't, I don't think I've seen the last nah, you one. You got to see him. Yeah. It's crazy. And I will okay. still watch him. One, two, and three. Makes sense. I, I'm, I still watch him. And oh, yeah, John Wick, too. John Wick. Okay. John Wick. I done watched all John Wicks. I, I just watched the recent one that just came out. Yeah. I seen it's, that, yeah. John Wick, it just, I don't know. I just like <laughs> movies like that. Or mm -hmm. I or I watch, uh, you ever watched uh, uh, Angel Has Fallen? Angel London and it's Angel oh, yeah, London yeah, yeah. and I forgot the last one. Oh, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I done no, watched all sure. them. I've and I, and I rewatched them. Yeah, I just like, I just yeah. I like them type of movies. Mm -hmm. But outside of that, it's Martin Wayne mm -hmm. Brothers, French Prince Bel Air. Yeah, Bernie Mac. Bernie Mac. Now nah, Bernie Mac was a is, is a classic as you well. Yeah, I ain't so, see that in a minute. That's, all I, that's really what yeah. I be watching for real. Other than that, shit, that's all I do. Okay, no, nah, say I'm, less. I'm, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to go back and watch some of those. I haven't watched Bernie Mac in a while. That's nah, why I'm glad I, you said I that. Watch Bernie Mac all the yeah. time too. But I. My first option is Connor Martin. Martin. I don't care if I just watch the episode and watch it again. Cause yeah. It's funny. Yeah. And it's it really be gems in it, though. Truth be told, yeah, people, facts. literally people know, like, especially Bernie Mac. Yeah. Also, Char Charm City Kings. The Charm one, the oh, one with uh, Meek Mill? Yeah, no, nah, I enjoyed people that. People don't know that movie mm -hmm. is really a life lesson if they mm -hmm. actually watch it and pay attention mm -hmm. and listen to what he was saying in the movie. Yep. Like, I got so many gems from that movie. Facts. It's like, Cool, all right, bet. Like Meek Mill always been that type of rapper that that give you gems anyway. Mm -hmm. But when you when I watch that movie, I'm like, damn, he just said, yeah, he just said a bar, correct. Bet. So, 
No, right. facts. And, that, and the reason I ask that because it's a lot of movies where we could really gain something. Yeah, Just like facts. you listen to music, you could really gain something Most outside definitely. if you listen deeper than the surface. So you watch certain movies, you could really like see where it may have, you can apply some of these lessons to or gems to your life. Or you seen where like, okay, I've been through that and this is what I learned too. So it's like movies is really like a good thing, especially if, that, if you're not yeah. looking at a surface viewer wise. Sure. Yeah, so let's talk about the trucking a little bit because obviously I know that plays a big role in your in your life too, even outside of like financial. But why 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 did you pick trucking, that industry? Trucking because my granddad did mm -hmm. it forever. Okay, and he was die hard. Mm -hmm. So I grew up riding trucks with him. Mm -hmm. I grew up riding out of town with him. So when I was in college. I was at my second school in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. I was like, I ain't going to care. I was talking to my brother on FaceTime. I was talking to my brother. I used to talk to my cousin, AJ. Uh, my partner, Kyle, was like, bro, mm -hmm. I don't want to do football no more. Yeah. Only reason why I see is a lot of more things out there. Correct. And two, I don't want to wait four years to get rich. Yeah. I can go make a bag right now. Mm -hmm. And I was at a JUCO. Mm -hmm. So it was like, mm hmm I don't know. Yeah. So I was looking into real estate. I was studying that. I was like, hell no. Nah. <laughs> What's wrong with real estate, bro? <laughs> I was like, bro, I can't do that, bro. I was like, I can't do that. Nah, real estate not bad, bro. Yeah, I, ain't I, lie to I you. me and my dog, he was trying mm -hmm. to coach me on it. Like, I commend him. Yeah. Like, for real. Like, and then he done, he failed his test a lot of mm -hmm. times and he finally passed it. Now he going crazy. Yeah. So he's a evolving through experience. Nah, facts. Like, he did his Everybody thing. Everybody is, yeah. You feel me? So, I'm just like, bro, I'm not doing real estate. Nah, but I Something mean, else. Yeah. Well, you do know you could do different forms of real estate. So he became a realtor or he's on investor yeah, side as well? He's a realtor. He got realtor. his license. License, okay. So I'm like, yeah, Kai, that's your thing. Go crazy. Yeah. I'm proud Support, of you, my yeah, boy. of course. So I was looking into uh, Amazon. Mm -hmm. Drop I'm, shipping? Mm -hmm, I was like, okay. mm, I don't know, probably. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, man, let me, let me go what I know best. Mm -hmm. 18 Willis. Cool. I got it. As soon as I. Made my mind on 18 wheelers. Once I got my mind locked in on something, mm -hmm. there's no left, no right. No deviating. There's no, I'm going straight there. Mm -hmm. So that's when my brother died. So I came home. I didn't immediately jump on trucks. Mm -hmm. I still had to grieve. Yeah. And so after I was really like not done grieving, but it was able to move around, mm -hmm. I was like, let's lock in on the trucks. Yeah. Let's get it. Watching YouTube, taking notes, this, that, and the third, mm -hmm. this, that, and the third. I waited. I waited because I waited because I didn't want to just go in there and fuck up and lose my money. Correct. But at the same time, Patience. I was bullshitting too at the same mm -hmm. time. I was playing. So I had uh, me, me and my dog, Jason Liddell. Yeah, yeah, I know. Mr. Two Weeks, yeah. Me and him had a talk. Mm -hmm. uh, we just chopped it up. Mm -hmm. He changed my whole mind. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, shout out to bet. Him. Yeah, shout out. I was like, bet. Let's do it. I was getting a haircut. And my cousin called me. He showed me a truck. I was like, I want it. Tell him mm -hmm. I want it. He was like, bro, I want this amount. I said, bro, I'm not paying that for no truck, even though I know it costs. Mm -hmm. I'm not paying that, bro. I'm sorry. I don't yeah. got that. I what, got what trucks? I, I'm not in the trucking industry, but what trucks usually cost and what did you wind up paying? Oh, uh, so it's, I like the three trucks I like. I like the Peterbilt, Freightliner, mm -hmm. Kenworth. Them three okay. trucks I like. So my first truck was a Peterbilt. Okay. It was an 07. Okay. So uh, it had 1.7 million miles on it. Mm hmm. That's and a lot of miles for a truck. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't me, know because for yeah. me to just buy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. It is. Okay. So I said, bro, I'm not paying that for that truck. Yeah. Bro. He won't that much. I'm not giving him that game. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. How much he wanted? He wanted like 75, 85, something. 85. Like that. Okay. It was it was in between there. Okay. I'm like, bro, I'm not paying. I don't got that. I got forty five k. If 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 he want that, mm -hmm. and the dude was already money hungry. You feel mm -hmm. me? Because certain seasons truck rates go down. Okay. So I told him. I, I told my cousin, let me. Let me mm -hmm. talk to him. I met him in person. He know him. He he, he know I'm young. At, mm -hmm. at, at that age, I was twenty. Yeah. He know I'm young. But I'm coming at him with a bag though. Mm -hmm. I'm like, bro, I, I got forty five k for you. Mm -hmm. What you want to do? I can't take that, man. I need. I like, bro. At the, at, at the end of the day, I gotta get this engine rebuilt, and it's some most of wrong to a truck that I gotta get fixed too. So at, at the end of the day, I gotta spend another bag. Mm -hmm. So come on, like, I'm talking to him like a man. Like, yeah. come on, let's do it. I'm looking at him dead. Like he, yeah. like he know I'm for real. For real, yeah. He's like, I can't, I'm sorry, man. I can't do it. I was like, I right, bet. Appreciate it. Shake his hand. Yeah. Well, I said, if nobody buy it, hit me up. I, yeah. got, I got the money right here for you. 
He said, I got you. I waited two, three days. <laughs> he called me back. Yo, man, I, uh, I'll take Need 45K. <laughs> hey, look, I at said, that point, you could have got it lower. I said, bro, I'll be there Monday. Yeah. Monday came around. I picked the truck up. Mm-hmm. Well, I didn't pick it up. I asked my company to pick the truck up. Mm-hmm. Uh, I found a lot to park of that. Part of that truck and trailer. Yeah. He was mm. so money hungry. Oh, truck it came and with the truck and the trailer. Okay, bad. Money hungry. Yeah. Really, that truck was, if that truck had lower miles on it, that truck mm. was worth the 85K he was asking for. No, I'm not giving you that, Brody. Yeah. You ain't giving me that for 45K. And from that day, I bought that truck. That truck sat for two, three months. Mm. Why? Because I didn't know what I was doing. You just I didn't have yeah. assurance. I didn't have no authority. I didn't have nothing. DTO, DOT, nothing. MC, okay. I didn't have shit. Yeah. So I told myself, let me let, let me jump back in the bag. Mm-hmm. Jump back in the bag. Learned, got all my authority. Whoop, this damn third, mm-hmm. found the driver. That's the hardest part in trucking is finding the driver. Makes sense. Found the driver. Been driving twenty years. Dedicated driver. Love him to death. He still drives for me to this day. Word. Love him to death. Found him, and he drove truck twenty years. So he helping me out too at the same yeah. time. The mutual beneficial. You feel yeah. So he helping me. So I'm like, say less. Mm-hmm. I know. I know. Nah, but I'm still learning because I'm still a little bit lost. Correct. Yeah. So I'm still learning at the same time. But as I got to know the business, mm-hmm. you couldn't tell Turn me up. shit. From that day forward, I, I made 10000 lost it, mm-hmm. went broke again. When I went broke again, I figured out the way to keep my truck running and to keep, because I, I had maintenance problems. Correct, so I yeah. tell people, don't have all your money in one account. Mm-hmm. Split it up. Have a maintenance account, have your checking account that's for your life, mm-hmm. and have a savings account just for your life too, period. Yeah. So if a wheel do pop or you do got to buy some, touch the maintenance money, mm-hmm. you don't got to touch your checking, every, not, everything not in one spot. Yeah. So but you take course. two, three thousand on some tires, mm-hmm. that's not your checking money. That, yeah. That's not your life money. Correct. That's your maintenance money. So you're built to touch that. That's mm-hmm. money for that part. So as I got into doing that, I'm like, cool, I know how to save money. I know how to stack mm-hmm. it. And from that day forward, that, that, that's, and I know how to manage money mm-hmm. I don't buy stuff Like I was just on tour Jeans and it was $200 Nigga I'm not buying that yeah. Sorry I'm not yeah, buying facts. $200 out there jeans, bro. I'm not yeah. buying them I'm, mm-hmm. I I wear jumpsuits 24-7 I'm yeah. wearing, I'm wearing uh, Jeans today Because it's a podcast Yeah Got a dress But other than that I'm a jumpsuit short 24-7 I like to be comfortable Yeah So like I don't spend money My mm-hmm. life is not expensive Only thing I need In my life is A nice car mm-hmm. A hard penthouse you straight. I'm good. Some good food too. Good food. I'm great. <laughs> fact. Me and my significant other. Yeah. When, when I find one, I'm good. What else? What else do I need? Mm-hmm. So my life is not expensive. You feel me? So from that, so I know how to save money. I know how to tell myself, don't, don't buy that. Mm-hmm. Even though I know I got it, Josh, don't, don't do it. Just walk past it. That's Ooh. the mentality you have, and and being frugal is vital. That doesn't mean you being cheap. You being frugal, so Thanks. you know how to manage, and that that's what's going to always separate. Everybody, us from others, knowing like, look, just because you got it, that don't mean you need to spend it. Sure. As soon as you start spending it and feel like you got it, that's you when you keep, lose it. You keep like going. you said, losing that ten because I, I I've been there, bro. Like losing even more than that, like l- losing oh, fifty. Feel. Like so, I know, bro. It like that's not the best feeling, Man. and especially when it's like we where we coming from. Like this is the first time we seeing this type that of bread. So time. when I mm-hmm. I was in college when I made all, all that money. my money. Yeah, like you in college. Yep, I made a JUCO. So I'm working my move. Yeah, fact. you feel me? <laughs> working my move. I'll do what I do. But then I had Literally. money mm-hmm. saved from high school. Correct. Like my mom used to like, come on. I was like, where you get that money to buy a truck? That's the thing. Mm-hmm. I don't put everybody in my business. Correct. I never did nothing illegal ever in my mm-hmm. life, ever. But I have no ways to get money mm-hmm. the right way. Correct. And that's what I did. Stack, stack, stack. When somebody asks me, I don't say I'm broke. I'd mm-hmm. be like, I don't got it right now. Yeah. Not for you. Mm-hmm. For me, it's cool. But I don't, I never, nah, I never say I'm broke because the power of the yep. tongue is real. It's vital. Never say, yep. I never say I'm broke. I, I don't got it right now. So when I, but I was just saving for mm-hmm. a rainy day. Yeah. And a rainy day came and buying that truck changed my whole life. Mm-hmm. So it was like, cause I, I was, when I stopped playing football, I said, yeah, I don't know what I'm finna do. Yeah, like, my life might be out. hard and I can't work a nine to five. Mm-hmm. Just, nothing wrong with it. Correct. But me having a big entrepreneur mindset. Mindset, yeah. I was working on. Yep. Bro, I was working like the other day, day before yesterday, Pepsi sent me a check. Uh-huh. <laughs> Guy was working at Pepsi. I was yeah. driving. They they sent me a check for ten dollars and thirty cents. Mm-hmm. I was there for a couple of hours. <laughs> I left. I told I told the manager straight up when I went to my first store, I can't mm-hmm. do this job, bro. Yeah. I quit. 
and I left. My mm-hmm. first check, my check I just got the other day was ten dollars and thirty cents. Now you gotta you gotta post that, bro. That's <laughs> like, legendary right like there. That's ten dollars and thirty cents. Y'all already <laughs> sent me a ten dollars thirty cent check. Yeah. I couldn't work a job, bro. Yeah. Like I I have worked jobs mm-hmm. though. I have nah, for sure. I have I worked at a, a door building place I did. Mm-hmm. I worked at UPS, I worked mm-hmm. at FedEx, but it was where that I'm coming yeah. to work. I'm going to make an excuse not yeah. to come to work. Yeah. FedEx, <laughs> if I just unloaded this whole truck, this 53 this fifty three foot trailer by mm-hmm. myself, mm-hmm. y'all finna put me on another truck? Mm-hmm. Either you going to put put me back on and let me finish this halfway done truck, I'm not getting on another truck or send me home. Mm-hmm. Well, whatever you want to do, they send me home. Cool. I done been fired from every job I don't worked. <laughs> every job. only job I didn't get fired from was from Pepsi because yeah. I, I left. Amazon, I worked at Amazon like four days. Mm-hmm. I couldn't do that no more. Either. Like, <laughs> I just knew like I like freedom. Mm-hmm. I don't like being told what to do. Just because yeah. you make a couple dollars over me, you're not finna tell me what to yeah. do, bro. I'm sorry. So and it's my a mindset, level of respect. Yeah. yeah, you feel me? My mindset just been entrepreneur. Nothing mm-hmm. wrong working nine to five. Period. Yeah. Nothing wrong with it. Mm-hmm. If that's what you do, that's what you do. But me personally, I couldn't see myself doing that for 20, 30 years. Mm-hmm. Having to clock in, having somebody tell me what to do. Why I can't take out work? Yeah. Why I can't? No, nah, facts. I'm not. That's not what I want to do. Mm-hmm. So, and I know I like to be on the move, twenty four seven, out of town all the time. So when you want to leave, yeah. Me telling my boss, hey, can I take? I got this. Yeah. And and two, when I did, cause I was still doing my entrepreneur stuff while I was working a job. Mm-hmm. I used to tell him, hey, I can't come there. I got to do this. Yeah. I got I got entrepreneur stuff to work on. I can't yeah. do it. I got to do that. I'm always gonna make an excuse. Mm-hmm. My favorite excuse was, hey, I got a flat tire. Mm-hmm. And I always just take a picture of people flat tires when I see a flat. So, I can, so it'll <laughs> Look, be the same they about picture. to take that and run with it. They about to be doing that too. Hey, I, I got a flat tire, yeah. or hey, my battery did. I'm going to make an excuse because mm-hmm. I got other stuff to do, and I just do it. Let's I, say uh, bigger priorities. Let's say that because yeah, bigger, yeah, priorities, yeah, bigger priorities. I knew where I wanted to go. Mm-hmm. I knew where I knew. My my high school coach tell me this. He, he, this stuck with me forever. Mm-hmm. Don't worry about nothing you can control. If I can control my life. Well, I control my life. Mm-hmm. I'm not worried about it. Because right. if if I'm broke today, I can be rich by tomorrow. Mm-hmm. I know ways to get money. So at the end of the day, I'm not worried about nothing I can control. Correct. So that's how I look at life, period. Don't worry about nothing you can control. So I, that's that been my motto forever. No, a lot of people need to take on that that same mentality. And like you said, it was it's nothing towards people that wants to do that. Yeah, facts. But I agree a thousand percent. And that's why I feel exactly the same way. Um, especially like you said, telling you when to take off, what you can't do. It's like, I've seen it where it's like, not me particular, cause I'm gonna do what I want to do. But at the same time, I've seen it where like people work in a job that I, I've worked at before. And like, let's just say a family funeral, they telling you, nah, you can't take off. You can't go to your family funeral. Like, you might well fire like me, bro. yeah, I'm, I'm leaving. You I'm going well. regardless, like to see that. And then people really won't leave because at the same time, no, like we said, no diss to them, but it's like they're in a place where it's like they don't have that same mentality, like yo, or believe in self enough at this exact at that exact moment where they be like, yo, I can go in get fact, it somewhere else. I turn, I try to change my partner's minds mm-hmm. on like working a job. Yeah, like not change their minds, but I try to get expand them, it. Yeah, I can let them see a lot of stuff. Yeah, different. So like mm-hmm. I said, the two dudes I be with, mm-hmm. I take them everywhere. Yeah, conferences, podcasts. Mm-hmm. Take them to the fancy restaurant. Mm-hmm. Take them to go see all the nice cars. Yeah. Hey, we took a trip to the Rolls Royce dealership a mm-hmm. couple couple months, well, two months ago. See, just to see the Rolls Royce, yeah. the, the, the Aston atmosphere. Martins, all mm-hmm. that, just to show them like we can get this if Facts. we if we actually grind. Mm-hmm. So everybody can have one. Fact. All three of us can have one. Just grind. I take them everywhere, mm-hmm. and I ask them before I go, y'all want to come? I, I tell them days before, yeah, y'all want to come. But today, I told him, I was like, "Hey, I, I got a podcast at yeah. uh, one pull up, pull up. All right, bet come get me. Can't came got. I I I want them to see everything, yeah. so that like, they know I'm gonna go home and grind. Yeah, and that's what and that's what they do. Facts. They go home and Shout do just them. that. They, yeah. they they don't bullshit. Yeah, and I and I could see it from when the first time I told them to now, they the not growth. playing. They not playing about yeah. w- what they want to do. They getting their credit right, mm-hmm. business right. They doing everything the right way. And I see it. I'm not taking credit for it. Yeah. That's what them. they want to do. Yeah, facts. I just gave them the game and gave them mm-hmm. the 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 experience. Yeah. And they taking it and run with it. That's, that's them. I'm not taking credit for that. Mm-hmm. That's not my work. 
that's them and God work, and that's and that's how it is. Facts, bro. I want to just give you your flowers, like I said. Like Appreciate I know we I know we recently met, but I definitely just want to give you your flowers Appreciate for real it. on 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 camera, so people know like it's good one to give people their Facts, flowers, especially us as men. We got to give each other our flowers, and just pretty much you know iron sharp as iron. So yeah, obviously you're younger than me, but bro, I commend you, and I say that because. I think a lot of people feel like when people are younger than them, they can't gain nothing from them. Yeah. Even if you're close to age or separated in age, I feel like the same way I can learn something from you, I can learn somebody from younger than you, I older than you, all around. Everybody. Facts. You can be a bum, a homeless, a exactly. Nigga. You can be whatever you is. I that learned part. something from you. Like mm -hmm. when I like when I gave I gave a bum some money one day. I gave him like three dollars. He gave me a quote. I don't remember it, but it stuck. It's <laughs> yeah. I'm, when I wrote the one, I said he gave you real value over that money. I said, what the fuck? <laughs> I, it, stuck, it stuck in yeah. my head. Like, damn. what do you remember? Like what no, it was regarded? Oh I man, don't. it probably I threw don't. you off so much yeah, that he gave it to you. Bro, like, I'm like, did that, I just hear I'm that? Like, that makes sense though. Yeah, but now I'm like, yeah, all right, fuck you. Nah, for real, crazy part is like I know I know people joke about it, but it's like really like for real. Like I ain't even gonna call them bums because like you said, it's power yeah, yeah, words. Yeah, but they let's not say bums. yeah, but people they just not financially where we at. Yeah, that or or don't have the necessary, not taking the necessary actions because yeah. obviously you got the mindset of you saying certain things or you know stuff, but you're not taking the action. So it's like even like I've heard it before. It's like I've been out before. I obviously I can, it's been several times, but even just like people will say something that is like it's like bro, like wait, why like. I really just gained real value from you. It's like, and I'm in shock. Like you living in this tent or you living on the street or you doing drugs your whole life drunk. But it's like, bro, like you really just gave me something that I can really take and apply to my life. Facts for sure. That's, that's a yeah. fact though. Cause like, I just look at it. I feel like everybody's valuable mm -hmm. in, in, in a certain way. So if I can learn something from you, you're going to be around me. Facts. I'm by far the smartest one in my mm -hmm. room, period. By far. Never be the smartest in the room. By yeah. far. The smartest person that's around me. I get game from everybody. Mm -hmm. If you can help me in a certain way of my life, I'm gonna I'm we're I'm gonna be around you. Correct. Yeah. I don't be around a lot of people. Genuine. I, I have people, broke yeah. ties from people. I have mm -hmm. left people behind. Only reason why? Cause my train not stopping. This shit Facts. going through walls, bricks. Yup. This shit not stopping for nobody. Facts. So if you want to ride alone, come on. Hop on. Cause this shit's not stopping. I got no break. Yep, she and not even giving a warning. Not, like, <laughs> no warning. Like, like, see, now when my brother died, all right, it mm -hmm. stopped at a little mm -hmm. stop sign for like two months. Yeah, she, I kicked the break off. That motherfucker been going since then. Yeah, so I, I got to tell people. I'm gonna make sure we're all right. Nah, even then I wouldn't even say it stop. It's just like you, you. I wouldn't even say it's a pause. Like you just taking your time. That's evolving, yeah. bro. Like, cause like even how I did the the logo. It's like, bro, you, people may feel like you being stagnant, but you're still moving forward. Right. You you further than where you are, so you are moving forward. Right. Even if you're not going up necessarily, you moving forward, and then you eventually continue to go up. So yeah, yeah too. I didn't even really like my dog. I ain't mm -hmm. okay. I gotta give me a flower too. Yeah, my dog Tommy. Mm -hmm. He really like. He gave me like that. That Twitch, cause I was seeing him post like yeah, consistently yeah, and I was like, this this might be the move yeah. Then we had clicked up. Well, mm -hmm. I, me and him grew up together from yeah. park ball. We played park ball together. Mm -hmm. So I've known my whole life, but it was like, shit, I see what he doing. Mm -hmm. I'm finna. I gotta do the same thing. Yeah, not in competition. Correct. And he motivated me to do mm -hmm. the same thing. So outside of posting mm -hmm. like the background scenes like people don't like people don't that see that part we give each other a lot of game mm -hmm. credit wise he helped me do my credit the right way mm -hmm. like it's just little shit that he done helped me with that made me what like what i'm doing now mm -hmm. what i'm able to do so it's like i ain't gonna cap he he, he helped me for yeah sure. shout out to him bro yeah, for sure like he helped me then two uh i met two brothers at at a conference 3d and uh mm -hmm. kanshi I would have never be making the money I'm making now if it wasn't for them. Shout out to them. Only yeah. reason why I say that when I met them and I told them what I had going on, they was like, "Bro, shoot, shoot content." Mm -hmm. I'm like, "Bro, I don't like talking. I don't like being in front of the camera." Mm -hmm. It was like, "Meet up, and we're gonna shoot." Help you, yeah. We shot. It took me two hours to make two videos. I posted one of the videos on on TikTok. It went viral. From that day forward, people <laughs> hit me up about trucks, yeah, mentorships, buy me ebook. So I didn't make so much money, mm -hmm. but I I wouldn't have made it if I didn't meet them. Correct. So they really the ones that really got me into doing it. And then now that I'm comfortable, I go talk at schools, yeah. career days. 
I, the go getters uh, mm-hmm. the go getters link up. I talked on stage. Mm-hmm. I'm getting more comfortable with talking because I'm able to tell my story yeah. and what and I know what I'm talking about. Correct. So it's not it's, it's not like I gotta practice. Yep. what I, I'm already know it's really I'm, you. It's, it's a flow. Yeah, facts. So it's like I don't got real comfortable, comfortable in yeah. actually with myself to mm-hmm. to actually talk to people because at first I didn't like talking because I had a little bit of a stutter problem. Yeah. But now that I get to talking a lot more, it's shit, it, you don't it, even notice it's going it. away. You yeah. feel me? So it's like. Them two, mm-hmm. the, the two brothers and Tommy, it really like helped me. No, doing, shout out to both like, all of them. Like, like doing all three. what I'm doing now for sure. Yeah, shout out to all three of them. I want to ask you this last question before we uh, start rapping. I want to ask you, did you um, leave school or you, you graduated? You dropped out or you graduated? Hi, uh, what? High school? Uh, no, I'm talking about oh, no, oh, college. I graduated high school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, nah, I, I left, left. I left. Yeah, I left. I Mentally, my, my folks wanted me to go back. My yeah. granddad. Yeah. But like I told my mom, I got a plan. You got a plan. I got a plan. Regardless of anybody see it, you got, got a plan. plan. So me and my granddad was beefing. Mm-hmm. Beefing. Every time I talked to him, he had an attitude. Mm-hmm. He was beefing. Go or go back to college. Mm-hmm. You can't be successful with life without going to college. <laughs> who can't? Who can't? I, I named so many people yep. who done went to college, who who done went and dropped out, or who didn't go period and that's successful. And all I, all I used to say was, well, ooh, ain't no well. Yeah. Back then, y'all day, it was it's go different. to college, yep. work a job, retire, live off your retirement money. Yep. Hell nah. Now, this ain't this, It ain't this, that. Like, and as, like, my grandma was the same way. His mm-hmm. wife was the same way. So she was like, yeah, he ain't going back. Yeah. He got a plan. He's sticking to his plan. Not deviating. And from that and from that day forward, it started to, okay, mm-hmm. I see what y'all is doing. I don't put them in my business. They see what they want to see. Yep. I don't say, oh, yeah, I'm going to go do this. All right, I got mm-hmm. this going on. They see what they want to see. They see it on social media. Mm-hmm. Like my mom was, like my mom used to be the same way. Not not going back to college, but mm-hmm. Joshua, you know, who Joshua yeah. do? Who? Bet. So now she see it like it's mm-hmm. getting bigger and bigger, bigger, and, bigger and bigger. She like, all right, yeah, my son, I, he, know he, yeah. he he really had a plan. Mm-hmm. And that's the plan I had. And I always stuck to it. Cause like, like I always, I promised my brother though, like mm-hmm. I will never drift right. I, mm-hmm. I mean, I would never drift left. I will always be going the right way. Mm-hmm. Cause like, I missed the last time to talk to him. Yeah. You feel me? I was sleep when he called me. Mm. Well, before he killed himself, I was sleep. So now I feel like I don't blame myself, but I blame mm. myself. I know if I if I would answer the phone, I could have changed that whole. I know I could have changed that whole thing. Dang, but man. now I'm yeah. there for the memory. Like yeah. I missed the last call. I missed the last time to talk to my dad. I was in football practice, so it's like I'm missing last calls for everybody that. I, how you dealing with that? Because that says a lot for and I, real. And I got the messages mm-hmm. in my phone. Yeah. And he called me. I didn't answer. He texted me. I love you. I mm-hmm. didn't I, I didn't get to answer the phone. Yeah. But I woke up to blog pages. Yeah. I woke up to Say Cheese. I woke mm-hmm. up to Shea Room Team. I woke up to that stuff yeah. that told me my, my, that my brother was dead. Nobody told me. Yeah. I woke up to them. Correct. Instagram. Yeah. Not family. Yeah. Not friends. Unfortunately. That. And the first person I called was him. Mm. That's the first person I called when everything happened. I didn't have nobody else to call. Yeah. I just called the first person that I talked to last, yeah. and that was him. So it was like, yeah. I didn't, and when I missed the call, I'm like, why the hell is, why did he call me at 11 o'clock in the morning? And I went to the message, I'm like, fuck. Yeah. And I called him like, bro, my brother just died. He was like, what? I'm like, my brother just killed himself. Yeah. He was like, no, I'm like, bro, I swear to God, look, I'm showing the blog. I'm like, mm-hmm. bro, I'm finna go crazy. I'm, I'm in California, I'm punching holes in the wall. I'm yeah. really up there going crazy because like, I missed the last call. Yeah. You feel me? Like I could have that whole situation. I know for a fact I could have. I know how to get to him. Yeah. I know how to make him. All right, bet I got it. Cause I talked to him. Yeah. The night before, before. we talked for three hours. The night before, he was nothing was wrong with him. Yeah. So the next morning when I see him, I'm like, what the f- what the hell unfolded that quick? Yeah. So I'm like, the last call. You serious? Like I missed the last call. So like that. That's what really be really like Bother like yeah. sometimes because I'm like I said I missed I'm missing everybody last call. Bro, I, my dad I, and my brother, I missed everybody last call, so that shit be fucking with me like twenty four, like, and it be like I feel like I don't know if it be like because when I go to my messages, because mm-hmm. I got his message pinned, on, and sometimes when I go to my messages, our messages be open already. I'm mm-hmm. like, what the fuck? So I see the I love you all, yeah. damn it, I see them every every other day. Yeah, so I'm like, man, this shit right here is like still bother you, yeah, yeah. You feel me? Like, it's always gonna bother me regardless, yeah. like, cause that's like that was like my backbone. You yeah. Feel me? He he know anything he need. I'm coming through anything I need. He's 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 coming through and she was vice versa. Yeah. So like that last call, she is like that's why my phone do be on D and D, but I know who to put in my do. It's your favorites. I know yeah. who's gonna call me. Mm-hmm. So I got the bros in there, mm-hmm. family in there. You know what I'm saying I know who's gonna call me and tell me something. So yeah. Like, 
And then two, if 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 you if you call me and I don't answer, I just don't want to talk to you right yeah. now. That's what it is. I will call you back later on yeah. when I feel like talking. But it's like that shit right there. Just that's it. Sit with me twenty four seven because it's like last call. Yeah, like, that shit eat me up all the time. That shit make me mad. Like literally make me mad. Like mm-hmm. I could be happy then. I could be mad Think the next it. thirty minutes. Yeah. But I only be mad for like twenty two. I don't be yeah. mad for that long because. It take a lot of energy to be mad, yeah. And I don't have no reason to be, be mad because the way my life going right now. But grateful that right there, it just that that shit fuck with me every day. Like last call, mm-hmm. like, last call, really you serious? So that shit just that's how like I don't know that shit just get me. Yeah, every bro. Time. I, I I see where it's like you got to balance on it if that's the best word because yeah. I know you said at first you was like you blame yourself but then you don't blame yourself and I think that's a great step because I don't I can't relate and I think people need to understand like we we could say we under we can't even say we understand but we could also like have some level of I don't know the right word but let's just for the lack of a better word we could say somewhat understand it, but we can't relate yeah fact. you could understand but you can't relate so hearing that is like I'm hoping and praying that one day you can find where it's like you don't blame yourself at all because Thanks. I couldn't imagine living with that type of Doubt. mental yeah, thing yeah, like yeah, yeah. you're like feeling like I'm the blame. Right. So I'm glad you said that you feel like you're the blame, but you also feel like you don't. See, now at so, first I blame myself. 100% yeah, for, that's what probably really put me in that mm-hmm. pressure stage so bad. I was blaming me for yeah. sure. Like that was me because mm-hmm. I didn't answer the phone. Yeah, you called me, I didn't answer, so that's my fault. Yeah, but as time went by. The bro was like, bro, that's not your fault. Bro. Yeah, that's not your fault. Folks kept saying stuff. I was like, bro, that's my fault. Bro. Yeah, because I didn't answer that last call. Mm-hmm. So like, knowing like you had a last call from somebody, yeah. you don't pick up, bro. It's like that could have changed it. Yeah. Then I had one more time to talk to you. Mm-hmm. You told me you love me. I ain't tell you I love you back. Yeah. Because I was sleep, mm-hmm. and then you texted to me so I could see it when I wake up, and that's when I saw it. Like he was like. I love you. I'm like, God. But at yeah. least you can find some solitude and peace in that, yeah, though. Yeah, fact, because I keep it. I, yeah. I, 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 I open it all the time. And that's what really brought me to, not that's what brought me to the fast, but I I met I met somebody, mm-hmm. and she was telling me, like, how she was fasting, like, what, mm-hmm. what got her into fasting. Correct. And I'm like, damn. I'm like, to try changing. that. Yep. So she was like, do it on Monday. Mm-hmm. And then she texts me on Monday. She was like, did you do it? I'm, like, I'm doing it right now. I ain't eight. It's four o'clock. Mm-hmm. See, I'm hungry as hell. Yeah. I gotta wait to six. But if you hungry, you you pray. You yeah. hungry, you read the Bible. You hungry, do something spiritually. Yeah. Do yeah. something, God. And I said Monday was, was gonna be my last day. I'm day three in. Mm-hmm. I feel I feel Amazing. good. I feel good. Yeah. Like I ain't like I can wait to six o'clock. And yeah. I told myself I'm gonna do it till Friday. But Friday come around, I might do it a little bit yeah, longer. Yeah, facts. Because I feel good. You feel yeah. me? So. That's what brought me into because I always, like I said, I always been close to God. Like mm-hmm. I, but I want to be closer. Yeah, He within me? you. So I want to be God closer. Is you feel me? Yeah, then, facts. Like I never read the Bible. Mm-hmm. I had devotion apps on my phone. I read the prayer, mm-hmm. but I never read the actual Bible. Mm-hmm. So I got it on my phone, and I like when I like when I do feel hungry, I'm mm-hmm. I go read a, that. Like, a scripture. Like today, I woke up, I read Joshua one nine. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. Tomorrow I might read something else, or before the day over I might read something else. It just mm-hmm. depends on my. I got I got a, I got this picture on my phone. It's like anger read this scripture, mm-hmm. sad read yeah. this scripture, something for every yeah, emotion, anxiety yeah. feel this scripture. Yep. So however I feel in the time, I'm gonna go read the scripture. That one, or e- even if I don't feel like it, I'm just gonna read it because mm-hmm. these are the scriptures that that they gave me. I like I said, I don't I don't know the Bible. Yeah. I don't know where to start from. Mm-hmm. But I always believe in God. I always pray. I grew up in the church. Mm-hmm. I got baptized twice. I got baptized in 2021. No 2020. So I always grew up in the church, mm. but I never opened up a Bible and sit there and read it. But now I'm most definitely doing it. I'm mm-hmm. opening up the Bible. I go to ch- I don't go to church. I watch it on my TV. Yeah. Uh, I pray. God, listen, God's music. So I'm starting to actually get real yeah. close in the fast. It's helping yeah, it even fast. more. So I was like, I might like this fast. Yeah. I might I might try for the, the whole thing, month. Yeah. I do it for the whole month. Yeah. Then after that, stop. Yeah. Do it again next month. Yeah, just like, but that's what really got me into like actually doing that. So well, I commend you, bro. Cause like we, I was just talking about fasting a while ago too, and like I know the wonders that work for me, and that's also like another reason I even went vegan. I cut out a lot of stuff out of my diet. Like I don't eat certain things. Um, and to each his own, but it's yeah, a facts. matter of what works for you. Yeah, and and I, I, I just commend you on your journey, and I support you a thousand percent. So I just want to say that, and um, I want to say this lastly too before we wrap. Like anybody that's out there dealing with suicide, depression, anything like that. Find find an outlet, a positive outlet, um, because 
it, it, it's life or death. Y'all know evolved through experience. I always say it's life or death. And these are the prime examples. If we can take these steps now um, to pretty much prevent this, because we don't want to be reaction. We want to be prevention. So let's be proactive instead of being reactive so we can stop these situations from happening to us, to our family members, to even people we don't know. Like one thing I, I, I've done, I haven't done it in a while to be transparent, but when I do pray or I'm meditating, I, I'm, I'm putting out in the universe that, look, I, I want I want everybody to be great. I don't want to just protect my people, but even the people I don't know, I want I want greatness for the people I do know and the people I don't know. And I think that's what's going to separate us. But overall, just make sure you get the help you need. And if you if you know somebody dealing with it, help them in any aspect that you can. Obviously, you can't force it on them, but obviously do what you can in a sense of pretty much putting it out there where they can see that they can get the help they deserve. So if you definitely enjoyed another episode of Evolving Through Experience, definitely make sure you check us out. Before we wrap, I want to let you know, what's your at names? Tell me your at names. Oh, uh, My Instagram is Shepherd. Uh, mm -hmm. My TikTok is j.shepherd5. Mm -hmm. so and I'm going to tag it all. Okay, bet. so outside of trucking, mm -hmm. you can hit me up for trucking in any industry in, in transportation. I got mm -hmm. you. But on the mental health part, I'm willing to actually talk to y'all about it, help Love. whoever need to go through it. I really will sit on the phone with you and talk to you through the whole thing. It's not tell you how to feel, but give yeah. you like, give you... Some type of encouragement to yeah, keep going. for sure. So, like I said, my DMs is always open. So. No, I appreciate that, bro. Also, I want to say, I want to get a, I want to get a train. So we're gonna talk. Okay, I want to, I want a train. I want a train running through from here to California with my, <laughs> with the ET logo on it. We, we delivering all type of tangible for items. Sure. So yeah, so also make sure y'all check us out. Um, like I say, evolve through experience on all platforms, TikTok, YouTube all podcast platforms and also join our free discord um which is new i'm dropping every pretty much weekly i'm gonna be dropping gems and finding out how to help people um well sharing how to help people in different aspects whether that's what i do with airbnb real estate no matter what it is we're going it's an interactive community it's free so make sure you join the free discord um evolving through experience and lastly yo if you gain anything from this episode and if you all about growing mentally spiritually emotionally physically and beyond hey evolving through experience is where you need to be at so make sure y'all continue to share continue to follow us and catch us on the next episode peace i'm a bad <laughs>